How do you make a website look good? This is a question that I get asked all the time. And to be honest, the answer is actually simpler than you might realize. You take a step back, you open the page, you stare at it, and spend five to 10 minutes to analyze what it is you're building or designing and see if it's achieving the goal you've set out. So today, I've got this great submission here from Enviata, and we're gonna stare at it and see what suggestions we can recommend. This is part of a series I'm doing called Enhance UI, which is designed for developers, helping you figure out how to make your website designs look just a little bit better. For those who are interested, you can check out his website here, I'll link it in the description below. I've also gone through and meticulously recreated it in Figma, where we have all our elements in the visually separated so we can move them about and adapt them to see what we can do to improve this design as well. My first impressions are that the design is quite nice. It's got some gradients and good use of color. The first thing is the hierarchy of the elements. This means that a certain elements stand out and are first visible more so than others. The very first and most visible thing here is hello, which is the title. And I'm just gonna put this at priority level one. It's the very first thing that a person sees on this page. And this essentially represents the page. So it's kind of a little bit unspecific. It doesn't seem to have a strong context. So if you're visiting this page, it doesn't really give you a good idea of what this page is about. The second one here is the introduction to the person as well as what he does. It's a little bit better, but it is not big enough really to take as much priority. The actual next level of priority here is this one here for my projects, which has a very strong contrast. And this makes it stand out as the item you'd want to click when you visit this page. And the last thing here is this laptop here, which is sort of floating off the side. Since most of the coding here that is visible is actually kind of a little bit blurry and in the background of this laptop, it's actually a little bit hard to identify that this is a page related to coding in particular. There's another thing that is also kind of obvious for this front page. And it's the fact that there is also a lot of white space being applied. I'd say about 80% of this, um, this page is just mainly space with just a little bit of content here and here. So I think all of these elements could be used a little bit better to make the content stand out. From the header point of view, let's see if we can adjust this to make it seem like it's a little bit more obvious of what this page is. The first is this title here. Instead of hello, I am going to put something in more related to web development. So I'm a web developer might be a good way to introduce the page. I'm going to see if I can fit this all on a single line. And this already looks a lot better. Then when you go to the next section here and you introduce the person, you say, my name is, and you can have their name here. And you can actually put the laptop maybe here a little bit off to the side. So it's more in line with the actual style of that linear background. So I think that looks a lot better. And that way we can reduce the height of this header just a little bit so that all the elements look better in general. So I think this should more or less do it. Um, I do like this angle he did apply for the laptop, so we might leave that as is, but we can move the next section up just a little bit. Before we move to the next section though, let's grab all these items and move them down so that they're more centered with the content on this page. And Figma has a nice lot of snap tools that allows you to do this. With this header more or less done now, we can move on to this next section, which is the project section. Now I have to tell you that this section here, I really like the style and aesthetic that's created. The only thing that I don't really like is that the actual topography isn't consistent with the header here. This topography now is a lot smaller. It's smaller to the point where it's almost difficult to read. The thing with topography is you want to keep it consistent between pages and sections. So in this case, this font size here is 115 pixels, and I would recommend having the same font size here for this next section. So I'm going to apply that in and see how that ends up looking. So I can see that that has updated. I'm just going to move this two bits of section back up so they fit in accordingly. But that looks already much better. And even the design aesthetic for my projects with a bit of a gradient happening for the word projects looks good. The second section here has a font size of 34 pixels. So I'm going to apply that as well. 
and we'll put that back underneath my projects. And now that fits much better in terms of how large the images are and how big this section is in general. We also have these two examples of work. One says AI web design and the other one says coin analyzer. Now these bits of text again are a little bit inconsistent with the sizing. So I'm going to increase the sizing for those again to 34 pixels so that we have this consistent size between all of them. This should pretty much cover this section here. I don't think we have to do much more. What I might recommend though for this section here is just to move the actual items up a tiny little bit so that we can maybe add some buttons or something else here that let us know that these might be clickable items that we can view more information about. What I'm gonna do is copy over the button design we had here earlier and paste it on top of this section. And for each, I'm gonna do view project. And that should be clear enough for people to get an indication of what this will do in terms of call to action. Let's copy this across and maybe case study might be a good example for the other one. Uh, the other thing I might recommend here is maybe a little bit more information about each one. So in this case, we could even move the buttons down a little bit more and we could write up a small bit of information. In this case, I'm gonna reduce the text down a little bit and Laura, um, some can be our bit of text here, but realistically we would fill this out with a proper descri description essentially. So I think that might work a little bit better and it's more in line with the way that we've done this website so far, which is a bit of a title, a bit of a tagline as well as a button for each section. So that's the my projects section. Let's move down here to all of the projects themselves. Now, from the design aesthetics we have so far, most of the elements have a nice, um, I suppose, like an image that has maybe the project on a laptop or a phone. Whereas this section here is just like a bit of a screenshot. What I'd like is maybe to keep that consistent feel where you have maybe these elements for each project because I think that makes this entire page look really good. So let's see if we can pull a couple of these in. So what I'm gonna do is head over to a website called Mock Upper. We're gonna go to a MacBook design and we're gonna drag and drop an image in and click done. This will load the image into the MacBook where we can download it once again and then we can drag and drop it into our design. This we can use now as the image for the design and paste it anywhere we want. In this case, what I'm gonna do is probably select the old examples of case studies because they're not working really the way I want. I feel that they're kind of taking away from the aesthetic that's already on this page and we wanna keep things consistent as I always say. So I'm gonna move this in here. And since we've got two elements up here, this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste the text here below and copy over the styling we had previously and apply that into the text below this case study. We can give it some additional information and we can even give it its own button too. We can then sort of replicate this sort of same design aesthetic adding each in each one of these projects, but I'm not gonna do all of that in this case. I might time lapse it so that you guys can see what I mean. So what I'm doing here is just grabbing the latest images for each one of these case studies. And I'm using a laptop with a left perspective. And then after this, a right perspective. And I'm putting them back to back so that they look good. And this is what we've come up with. In terms of the design, I think this keeps things much more interesting. It has this sort of design aesthetic that is more consistent with some of the examples before. And in terms of the footer, it works quite well with this angle that we already have here. The footer itself, I don't think needs any changes. Here are the two designs back to back. The very first change obviously is this hello that has been swapped out to I'm a web developer, which gives a much more clear indication of what the page is. The next thing we've done is we've moved the laptop up a little bit so that it wasn't previously centered on the page with the text, but now it's much more centered. And this means that the whole header section is a little bit smaller in comparison. 
then we can see that we can move the my project section in much sooner than previously and we've also increased the size for this so that it can stand out much better we've moved up the my project section that we had before so that we have a little bit less room between the two sections but they merge quite well together and immediately we can see what these two items are because the text for these are much larger and we can click through to them through the button as well i'm pretty happy so far with these design changes the next changes here are for the actual case studies themselves, the projects. For the projects before, this sort of took me out of the design aesthetic because they were just very basic and square and they weren't standing out very well. Instead, we've moved more to this laptop design that we have and this is very similar to the sections above. This also means that we don't have to use as many case studies. So I've just limited it to three in this case, but I think they fit in quite nicely. I haven't done any changes to the footer because that looks good already and that more or less covers the entire design. Now it's time to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm also opening submissions for other people to put in their own portfolios or websites for me to review. So check that out. That'll also be in the link in the description. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.